The art of silversmithery in Cyprus has been known since ancient times. The working of metals for the making of jewellery was developed into a fine art during the Mycenaean period. Noteworthy examples of Cypriot silversmithery cover the Cypro-Mycenaean, Archaic, Classical and Hellenistic periods. In addition, noteworthy items of jewellery, ecclesiastical and domestic utensils dating back to the Proto-Christian period were discovered in Cyprus. Well known are also the famed treasures of Lambusan, examples of early Byzantine art. The various silver and few gold objects and items of jewellery encountered today in collections belonging to museums, churches and private individuals act as testament to the fact that silver smithery was one of the branches of folk art which flourished in Cyprus from the 17th to the 19th century. Despite advancements in technology, there still exist in Cyprus artisans who work in the traditional way. They spread open the silver leaf and give shape to the item using special hammers. For the bas-relief decoration, they lay the item face down on a tar mixture and strike its reverse side, with a more detailed decoration realised afterwards. Yet other artisans, when making small die-cast objects, continue to pour the molten metal into stupfes or bronze moulds, which they line with a special sand mixed with carob syrup. The most complex technique, however, remains that of filigree silver or trifuri. As in days of old, so now is a cast, hammered and elongated piece of silver drawn through a metal plate with openings of varying diameters until the silver thread acquires the desirable thickness. Using these fine silver wires, Various intricate compositions are made, adorned with attached circles, squares or rhombuses, as well as with inlaid stones or enamel. Since the beginnings of the last century, the village of Lefkara has been the par excellence producer of silver items such as bowls, incense holders and myrrh bearers. The silver bowl, or hanap, has always been included among the valuable items found in urban households, with the word itself one of the many, tracing its origins back to the French medieval words still encountered in Cyprus since the years of Frankish rule. Silver hanaps are still made in Lefkara to this day, and along with the incense holder and the myrrh bearer, constitute the most significant products of local silver smithery, and that most closely linked to the customs and traditions of Cyprus. As a traditional Cypriot folk art, silver smithery through eponymous and anonymous artisans served, by and large, the needs of the church. The silver ecclesiastical items kept in the vaults of monasteries and churches, as well as those on display in museums, 
reflect the wealth and the enhanced authority of the Church of Cyprus, as well as the profound religiosity of the people of the island, who in difficult times found solace and support with the Church, but also supported it with all means available, donating to it their property and offering it items of significant value.